That's right, Keenan. It's going to be a different opening day. And given the capacity cap here at Comerica Park with just 20%, only around 8,200 fans will be inside. So for today, plenty of loyal Tigers fans, maybe even those who prior to the pandemic had never missed a game, will have to enjoy today's opening day from home. Oh, it won't be anything like normal years. That's something all Tigers fans can agree on. In a stadium that seats nearly 42,000, only 8,200 will have a ballpark seat to the action today. I think it should be higher. Abby Stalin and her family are huge Tigers fans. Here's her husband and son at Comerica Park's very first opening day. We actually often take the day off of work or school to go every year to opening day. It's a holiday in our family for sure. Having a husband who's immunocompromised has changed things this year. They're staying home. Kitty Corner from Comerica, Ford Field, or for now, Detroit's second mass vaccination clinic. A picture of the unique battle of the time, getting shots into arms and stopping the spread of COVID-19 while trying desperately to feel normal again. And for many, that means rooting for the home team with a cold beer and a hot dog. Abby walked over to pay a visit to Comerica Park after receiving her first COVID shot yesterday, seeing as how she won't be in the stands today. We gotta wait until more people are vaccinated. Some bars and restaurants choosing not to open today due to concerns with COVID, like Elwood Bar and Grill just across the stadium on Adams. In Corktown, Nemo's Bar will be open and will run its shuttle to and from the ballpark, but this year it will be limited and shared with other area bars. We can only let so many people in the bar. Um, we Everyone's got to be seated. Everyone's got to be distanced. It still is going to be a bit of a slow ramp up, um, and I think that's going to be indicative of uh, most of our major league sports. As for the number of spectators allowed on opening day, Abby says for our family, we're not going, but for people that are healthier and don't have the high risk situations, I actually think that's a good number. Now, outside of bars and restaurants, there has been an economic ripple effect to major league sports closing down during the pandemic. Later on in the show, we're going to take a look at parking. We'll break down those numbers for you. But first at six o'clock, the warning from Mayor Mike Duggan and the city's health department for fans, both with and without tickets today. Everything you need to know before and if you come downtown. We're live this morning outside Comerica Park. I'm Jen Chance. I'll send it back to you.